Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace Defensive Handgun Training for Women, and today is episode four of the Preparing the New Shooter series. We're going to be talking about sight alignment and sight picture today. You've got on your gun a front sight and a rear sight. What you're going to be doing is centering the front sight in between the notch in the rear and then making sure that it's level across the top. If you allow your front sight to sit high like this, you'll shoot high. If you focus on the rear sight and bury the front, you'll shoot low. If you let the front sight be closer to the left hand side, you'll shoot left. If you let the front sight be closer to the right, you'll shoot right. So as you press your gun forward, you want to focus on the front sight and you want to align it in the center and level it. Now I'm going to show you sight picture. I'm going to take the aligned sights and put them on a target. As I drive the gun forward, I'm going to focus on my front sight. I'm going to keep it centered and level. And you notice I'm not going up like this and then leveling it down to my line of sight because that takes a really long time. I'm also not bowling it up from the bottom. Okay and then trying to find it, which is hard. I'm driving it straight forward, looking at the front sight as I go. Now I'm fully extended. So as I'm pressing the gun forward, I'm staring at the front sight and aligning it as I go. That's going to save me a lot of time um, from the draw to the presentation to the target. I'm not going to stick the gun out there and then try to figure out what I need to do. I'm going to follow the front sight as I go. Okay. I just want to mention something about revolvers because a lot of times they have a little bit of a different sighting system than your typical semi-automatic. This one, for instance, has a sloped front sight blade. You see this where it's got basically a ramp leading up to the front sight. And in the back, you have a groove. Okay, so you can see this groove. This is real typical of what you would see on small J-frame snubby revolvers that people carry for self-defense. And the temptation when you're lining up these sights, actually I guess I should put this on a white background, the temptation is to line it up and have the ramp showing on the top. People, I've even seen people paint the entire ramp and then when they line it up they see that ramp on the top. People that do this typically shoot high because the sights are meant to be leveled. So the top of the front sight should be leveled out with the top of the groove in the back. So this will shoot high. This will shoot right where you want it to be as, unless you do something crazy with your trigger, which we'll talk more about that in the trigger control video. Looking at this from the side, I'll attempt to do this you can see that the ramp sits above the top strap. So if you allow yourself to look straight down the top strap and keep that blade sitting up on the top, you will shoot high. Looking straight down the top strap this way, this will shoot high. You want the top of your front to be level with the top of the rear. Okay, we're closing out episode four of Preparing the New Shooter, and we've been talking about sight alignment, sight picture. I just want to recap what we've talked about. If you're looking down the sights of your semi-automatic pistol, you're going to see that front sight blade centered in the rear sight notch and level across the top. You want to keep your eyesight focused on the front sight, not on the rear. If you're looking down the sights of your revolver, if you have this type of sights with the blade in the front, with the slant going up, slope, whatever you want to call it, and then a groove in the rear. You want to make sure that you don't allow that blade to sit up on the top. You want it to be level. Okay, so if I'm looking straight down, I want it to be level across the top. I don't want it sitting up like this or I will shoot high. This is one of my Springfield EMPs and on this particular handgun I have put what we call straight eight sights they black out in the daytime but at night you have two tritium dots one in the front sight blade and then one just below the notch in the rear 
So rather than lining up dots side to side, you just make a snowman out of those dots. I call it a snowman. Some people would call it a figure eight or a straight eight. Okay. It's good for fast acquiring of the sites. And it's just another option that's out there. So just remember, front sight blade centered in the rear sight notch. Okay, and as you press the gun forward, you're focusing on the front sight blade and centering and leveling it as you press it forward. You are going to have some natural movement in your hands because you have blood circulating through your arms and you're breathing, so don't get too overly worried about movement. Just do your best to make sure that you're focusing on the front sight, keeping it centered and level. I hope you're having a great day. I thank you for joining me for episode four, preparing the new shooter, and I look forward to seeing you in episode five where we're going to be talking about trigger control. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.